welcome you back again to another video lecture on python programming project and in this video lecture i'll go ahead and create a simple project that will help us to guess random number so this is one of his is really very tedious uh, exercise because you have to guess the number right if you don't get it right you keep guessing and remember it's a random number it's gonna print out anything at any time so let's go ahead and uh, start let's say from random from random you go ahead and uh, import go ahead and import rand int now let's go ahead and give in the the guest number let me go ahead and say guess underscore num is equal to rand and this takes a uh, Two argument is going to start from one and ends in hundred. Now let's go ahead and uh, the user inputs. So I'm going to say user underscore input is equal to just one alone, and uh, we are giving time. I'm going to say trial underscore period is just once. And then we go ahead and I uh, use the say why why the guess why the guess now is not equal to user input so the number that is being imputed by the user and uh, go ahead and print let's go ahead and print the trial i'll go ahead and see trial number one trial number that is percentage d so trial number one all right as a first trial is that go ahead and uh, say modulus that is uh, modulus trial period and uh, end so we're expecting something from here and then you go ahead and uh, say user input is equal to user input is equal to int Impute okay, so the user you need to insert any number to check if that number is guessed right, and uh, if the number is guessed right, that is if user impute is less than the guess number, if the user input is less than the guess number, then you go ahead and uh, print the input number is less yeah here I say the input number is less else if else if user input is greater than the grace number then go ahead and uh, print out the input number the input number is much then else go ahead and uh, print the right guess you can go ahead and say kudos kudos oh kudos the right guess now you go ahead and create a 
trial period so the trial period class so trial period well plus equal one so for each time and after then let's go ahead and clear off so let's go ahead and run this project and check it out so drag this and uh the trial number one let's go ahead and say seven eight so the input number is much it's really very much and uh trial number two forty five so the input number is much wow let's go ahead and put um three so the input number is less so you keep doing this until you get the number let's go ahead and say thirty wow it's still less let's say 40 still less 41 less 42 less 44 how 45 so if we have say let's say that that is a uh, 44.4 uh, so this takes only decimal numbers and uh, it doesn't take anything like float because we are interested in decimal so let's go ahead and check 50 say the norm input number is much let's check uh 40 oh can see that kudos the right guess <laughs> wow it's not easy because the random number is really so in fact it's really frustrating okay let's go ahead and do that one more time let's say uh 40 the input number is less 50 the input number is less let's go ahead and insert something like uh 60 less 70 still less what of 80 is still less 90 wow kudos the right guess can you see that i got it but after so much trial so you can make this to be a game and people play that and whoever gets it right you'll be like wow you've done something great so go ahead and put this down on your system you play around with it and check out more on that and uh, in case you have any question please go ahead and use the question and answer section and i'm going to get back to you as soon as possible Thank you so much and I'm going to see you in the next video lecture.